Hello, bonjour, buenos dias, namaste, hajime maste, ni hao, assalamu alaikum, everybody out there on the internet. So, you know, this is an audio only episode. I didn't feel like setting up the green screen, having it not work, having to record things, having to do all this stuff. It's just, it's just so much easier if I can just talk into the microphone. And also, sorry, because there's no pop filter, so it's going to be a bit poppy. Sorry. Um, and just like, you know, record the episode and bing, bang, boom, done and done. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Chain with Tekken for June 2020. I don't know if I already said that, but that's, that's what this is. Um, so, you know, brief overview. Chain with Tekken, if you don't know, is basically, I just have three main things I talk about. Views I'm working on for the channel. Changes to stuff on the channel and IRL stuff. Those are the three things. Uh, IRL means the owner of life, so you know. Anywho, uh, under videos I'm working on, there's subcategories. There's playthroughs and streams, vlogs, DIY, do-it-yourself stuff, how-tos and other stuff I might be making for the channel. The other two categories don't have subcategories because they are things that happened or didn't. With anecdotes and aside sprinkled in because, you know, just gotta... Sometimes I'll just be talking about something and just be like, oh, actually, or not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wouldn't say, oh, actually, or I, that, I, I didn't mean to say that. That, that. That's that's just how that came out. That's not what I would say. I'd be like, and then, and then, and then, and then, and it's just like, and, and then a train to like, you know, wherever we go on an adventure in the asides and anecdote adventure. Ooh, the, the alliteration. Love it. Um... <laughs> So yeah, let's get started. So videos I'm working on. Uh, taking it easy this month. Not wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I I I'm I'm looking at my phone because I usually like put my notes here. But that that was the section I just said, or the little bit I just said. Disregard that. That was from last month. The whole taking it taking it easy. I mean, I have been taking it easy, but um, yeah, <laughs> I haven't been posting any less on the channel. So that's. That was further down in the sentence, and I was like, wait a minute. Anywho. Uh, but yeah, last is part two is done. Ghost of Tsushima is, well, it's just, it's the last day of June, so I could say next month, but it's it's soon. I'll just say it's soon. Um, also, Witcher 3, man. Witcher FN3. That game was effing fantastic. Uh, a bit of parts two and one, just like, you know, a bit of gameplay in the epilogues. And I just started Thronebreaker. And I'm not really liking Thronebreaker. I had to I had to tune the, the difficulty down and just put it on like skip battle because it's not honestly it's not as good as like the, the okay here's the thing I ah, okay I'll come I'll come back around to like the whole here's the thing thing because I say that a lot but then it's like I'm not sure if I was saying that before Joe Biden or if it's just like one of those byproducts of just like when something is just like you know in your brain. And it just like corrupts you, and it's just like it's a part of me now. And it's just like ugh, every time I say it, I'm just like, why? Anywho, <laughs> so yeah, here's the thing <laughs> about effing Thronebreaker. So Witcher Three has quit in it, and I really got into it, and I was like, wow, this is really fun. I'm really liking it. And then I played the standalone Gwent game, and it wasn't. The, it was not the same. It's not the same thing. It's not. It's not three rows. It's two rows, and it just threw me off. And like, there's a lot of different um, like cards and card behaviors. So I basically had to like relearn how to play Gwent because it's a completely different game. And then I was like, you know, after a while, I I mean, I've got like 60 hours, 60. I think I'm upwards of 70 hours logged into that game right now. But uh, I I went to play Thronebreaker the other day, so I had like whatever, like 50 hours, let's say, logged in in Gwent. I went to play Thronebreaker. I'm like, you know. I'm I'm decent. I know what I'm doing. I've got it down, and I was getting wrecked left and right. And there are puzzle fights in that game where it's like, oh, do this thing to like you know, it's it's not you're just like do damage or beat your opponent. It's like oh, well, there's a, there's a unit over here that only takes damage um, from these things, but if something else, there's like a failure condition of like oh, if, if one of your unit your unit dies or if one of its units dies. It's just like a whole puzzle thing with the card game, and it's just like that. I'm not feeling it. Did not like. <laughs> yeah. 
was absolutely sucking at it. So I was like, dude, this is like, I, I'm just not good at this game. So I just like took the difficulty down, put it on like easy mode, skipping battles because it's just like, F it, not worth it. Um, I wasn't having a fun time. I, I, it was not a fun time. I did not enjoy it. Like the first three hours was just like a, a struggle bus that d it did not need to exist. I was just like, why is this game so hard? It's just a card game. <laughs> it's like, it's, that's, here, and that's the other thing. It's like, there are units in that game that are in Gwent, the, the standalone game, but all their behavior is different. So it's like, it threw me off so much of like, you see the cards and it's like, hmm, this is in Gwent, but it's like, in Thronebreaker, it is not the same. It is, like, the cards are the same, visually, but the way they behave, not so much. It's like, oh, this isn't, this deck, this doesn't even do this. And it's just, it's just not as good in my opinion. So I was just like, you know what, dude? I am just here for the story of Queen Mira and uh, her sweet adventures through Lyria in Rydia? Or, I'm sorry, wow, wow, wow. I, sh I shouldn't even, like, need to, like, not know that because that's effing, you know, it's, it's Rivia. Because it's like, it's the, you know, we're, we're the place where Gerald got, you know, the, the whole vill Well, I mean, I'm not sure if that, that bridge thing is from the books, but like in in the um, Hearts of Stone, or not Hearts of Stone, but the Blood and Wine expansion, they go into the whole, like, you know, why is he, how he got his title Geralt of Rivia, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then like, you actually play as the queen of Rivia and Lyria, because she, she's like queen of two uh, lands. Or kingdoms, so that's cool. So I'm just playing. It. I'm just playing for the story, man. It's just I love that. I love that universe and the, the boomerang back around, dude. Which is F and three, man. It just it was fan effing fantastic. I said that already, but like just I could do an entire episode or video. I sh I kind of want to on Witcher three because it's so effing good and just like I am late to the party on that game. I I played through all three games like Bing Bang Boom, just like one two three, and just. Cause you know, <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> plenty of time to do things, cause nothing's nothing's happening, or you know, the the plague lands are a danger, and it's like I'm not I'm not going out there. So yeah, and it's like I've got a lot sitting on a lot of games I haven't played, and which is at the top of my list. And I really like the Netflix series, and I finally haven't played it, dude. And it's like I have seen the effing light, and like Witcher Three is legit. Like all the things people say about that game being effing amazing are effing true. It's like it's believe effing believe, dude. Witcher Three, like just. Effing just hands down one of the best games I've ever played in my life. One of the best experiences. It's just so effing good and just ah, effing amazing. Just like mm. and like I would go, I would go more into this, but I have like gushed about this on the uh, comic book talk podcast, like the last episode we did, which is also my channel. If you just go back a couple, of, well, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be back a couple of videos, but it's. It's, there's one from this month, uh, me and Buff recorded, and he's, and he's like, dude, talk about Witcher 3, and it's like, dude, Witcher F and 3, and just, like, gushed about it, and it's just, ah, oh, so good. It's such a good game. And I just finished my second playthrough, and the, okay, so here's, here's another thing, is, like, what makes Witcher cool is, um, you know, it, it had a playable epilogue chapter, so it wasn't just, like, you get to the end, the end, and that's that. It was, like, you get to the end and then you have an epilogue and then you see your like the consequence of your choices then you have like at least in Witcher 2 and 3 you have like this these interstitial animations of like you know what you did and like how it affected the the outcome of things and that's pretty cool so I very much appreciated that coming from like loving Mass Effect and just the whole choice and consequence thing I mean that's that's one of my favorite mechanics in games actually is like the whole you know Telltale does it um, Quantic Dream does it. Well, I guess it's it's more based. Of, it's more about choices. But then, like your choices have consequences, so therefore it's kind of interlinked. Of like your choices, and then your choices have consequences, and like they change things. And like it's, the storyline adapts, and like things things change. It's not just like a static playthrough of like, um, like essentially like Resident Evil. Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say like the current Resident Evil Three, everybody's route will be the same versus like old school Resident Evil Three, where it's like. Nemesis drops down, police station, runnery fight. It's like, ooh. So it's it's like, you know, you have branching, diverging, diverging paths in that game. Uh in in old school RE three. Current RE three is just like, you know, every everybody's playthrough is the same. <laughs> so it's not really 
So it's like, you know, when you're, t- so it's like, it's very, it's, it's like, so, so even like on a social communal level, you know, if I play this game and I'm talking to my friends and we've played this game, that's why it's, that's why I enjoy these games is because, you know, what I did isn't always going to be the same as what somebody else did. And like, A, that when I, <laughs> well, point one is like the whole, just the choices change everything. And then two, it's like, you know, what, I, I feel like after, after playing so many of these is like, you can, you can look at what the choices that someone did depending on the game Witcher 3 is like not the same it's not it's not it's not super binary that's the other thing I love about Witcher dude is like it is such, it is so morally gray as far as like there is no right and wrong like I mean there there it, I mean that's that's the great thing is like it's so good as about about like just you don't know it's like you don't know what the consequences will be if you're doing the if you think you're doing the right thing because it could come back and bite you and then if you're doing if you if you're doing something where you're in where you think you're in the wrong, you have to like if you think if you think about it and look at, look at it from like what are the consequences you have to like approach it from that or just like what are the what's the worst case scenario, you know if I let this monster live which I didn't I killed all of them, okay I didn't kill all of them but <laughs> looking at the bestiary of like the ones that are dangerous I did not let any like the danger ones live because it's like obviously they're gonna go out. And keep on killing the humans. I mean, that being said, you could. <sighs> I, I don't know why you take this position, but you could have the whole like, well, you know, the humans built their towns and settlements around the monsters, so it's not really their fault that it's they're in the blah blah blah. But it's like, dude, it's <laughs> Witcher. I mean that. I mean that's the thing that I love about just like the Witcher universe. I've just fallen in love with it. It's just like the aesthetic works, like functionally from like, <laughs> from like everything like makes sense. Because it's like, you know, witchers are neutral, or they're supposed to be. They only care about getting paid for their bounties. Or they don't care about that. But, like, that's the, that's what they do. That's that's their service to society. Is like, they go out, and they kill effing monsters. And that's, like, I mean, that's, like, the basic. <laughs> There's more to it than that, but, you know, the whole... I mean, and that's the other great thing. Is, like, you know, if, if you if you play Witcher 1, and, like, the status quo... I mean, I mean... I, I played one, two, and three, so it's like I think it's kind of cool if you play three, and like for a long time you don't you haven't, you haven't played the first two, and you, like you go back and play them, because there's not really a status quo change in the world as far as you know care more and, and like why or not why, but because they never really explain why, but basically they've kind of run out of materials. Um, or did or did it say what they it probably said why because it wouldn't it would not say why but you know because because to become a witcher you have to go through this process but only children can do it or they they yeah yeah you can only do it to a child essentially is like make them into a witcher but it's extremely dangerous i believe it's one in three or 30 percent is like i can't remember 30 percent live or die i think it's 30 percent live it's in the minority it's like you're probably gonna die <laughs> if you're <laughs> if they're trying to make you a witcher and um you know that's but th- but then after that it changes you like physically and mentally so it's like you lose all your emotions you don't have any emotions um you know you, you you become physically your your eyes change you can see in the dark but then you look like a mutant and then like because of these things and just because of the world of the witcher and because it's very um what would i say I, are, are, yeah it's like a throwback to like you know the me- the medieval times is like you know you're you're an outcast because you're not you know of the of the people so you're you're one of those weird weirdo freaks and then like they give they give you crap about it all the time of just like oh these witchers are they're just mutants and they're just freaks and monsters ah. so but yeah dude it's just it's just it's just great it's awesome and just you should play it if you haven't played Witcher three it's just take my word for it it's ten I give it a think ten out of ten like okay okay. I mean, I don't usually game give a game a score, but like for me, it's like what it, when I say a game's a ten, that's like it gets my personal recommendation of like you have to play this game. So it's like Witcher Three is an effing ten, dude, because it's so effing good and just like ah the aesthetic and just like the whole world and just like the characters and just I just I just love everything about it. It's just like you know, the Witchers and they have the school and it's like you know the the first one of the first things in Witcher One in the tutorial is like push whatever to do a pirouette and I'm like what why are you pirouetting but then by the third game it's like <laughs> you can dodge and you can pirouette but like pirouetting is like way more efficient 
and useful than like dodge rolling because you're usually like too far away if, you, if you're just dodge rolling all the time. So I thought that was pretty awesome too. It was just like you know the functionality of your of your blade dance or sword dance or they, I mean they don't call it something, but like I, in my brain I was like they should call this something like when you're like you know fighting with your sword and you're dancing. Well, I mean you're not, but you're like using a dancing maneuver because it's like oh that's so silly you're pirouetting, but it's like oh, actually it works. So it's like hmm that's pretty effing cool, Witcher. That's pretty effing cool. And then like you know my favorite thing. Well not my favorite thing because there's like so many. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back because the next sequence after this I've been I spent way too much time on the Witcher. I knew this would happen, but um. <laughs> just like you know the whole like you know two swords silver and steel silver's for monsters steel's for humans it's like ooh, ooh, ooh that's so cool that's so cool i'm sorry it's just, it's just so cool to me it's just so cool to me it's just so cool to me um but yeah witcher 3 i effing loved it it was great one of the best games i've ever played highest recommendation easily like I, that game came out in like 2000 i think 15 or 16 so it's like five years old and I'm just now playing it, and it still effing holds up, dude. It's not only does it hold up, it is the best game I've played this year, and it is like five years old. Like, how rare is that? It's effing amazing. Um, but moving on before I like continue gushing about Witcher Three, because I could do it all day. <laughs> but yeah, you know, because of uh, playing that game, I, I was playing Gwent in Witcher Three. And at first I was like, eh, I'm not so good at this, I don't know if I like it, but then eventually I got good at it, dude, and I was like, I like this. And then I, you know, I was like, I need more. <laughs> okay, I wasn't like, I need more, but I was like, okay, let's, let's check out the, um, you know, actual standalone Gwent game. And I was like, hmm, I'm kind of terrible. But then after a while, I was like, okay, I learned the ropes. Got pretty decent. And then I even, like, looked up some videos, because I was like, you know what, let's, let's do the, uh, <laughs> let's, let's zoom it and just, like, look up a video and be like, how do I get good at this thing? And like, you know, I, I, I will access the, the, the depository of all human knowledge on the internet and look at a YouTube video. I mean, that's not 100% true, but it's like close enough, whatever. And, um, yeah, I was like, okay, cool. Let, let's, cause I, cause, cause dude, I was getting slapped down with like cards I had not seen or I didn't have. And I was like, what is this? What's this card? What's it do? And I was like, and there's, there, there's like very like li little tutorial in that game. It's like, <laughs> It's like, it's one of those games where it's like, here's here's a survival knife and a handful of peanuts, and we're gonna strand you on a desert deserted island. Have fun fending for yourself. That's the tutorial in that game. Cause it's just it's just the effing basics. When it's like you kind of need like a lot more than that. I'm just saying to like yeah, not get destroyed. And I was getting, I mean I wasn't because I had already played Witcher three of Gwent. But like I said, it's different from two. But I had had like the basics down. But Fundamentally, it's so different in the cards and stuff. So I was like, "Dude, I gotta look some look up a guide or something." So after that, dude, I made I made a monster deck that is all about thrive. So that's that's what I'm playing mainly now. I will probably play that for like a while, just because I I find it to be like the most fun of all the all of all the stuff I played. Because I played a bit of um. So that's the thing about Gwent, dude. Is like in in Witcher Three, I was playing the Northern Realms, and then uh. And they play completely different in the in Gwent, so it's like, dude, I can't do this. I mean, I might go back and try to like make a a, a a variation on that. But then I played someone the other day, and they're using like, uh, I mean, it's cool. That's the cool thing too, though. It's like you play so many different people that have like different decks that play differently, and just like seeing all like the the like the decks I've played that like weren't just like machine decks with like you know stuff that was like healing things or boosting things. Are just like the decks with all the um, like the, the infantry because I played the shield like the uh, Sco like the Skellica and like Skellica and like they had a bunch of shield maidens and they just like spawn them like over and over and just like overwhelm you with that and I was like that was cool and I played someone else that um, did the same thing with the blue stripes and I was like okay and then I played you know people with the monsters that use the um, the Glusty Warp strat and that was cool just to see like you know spawning all the drones stacking the drones and then you know getting all the all the boosting so there's there's a bunch of different ways to play it and i will definitely say Nilfgaard is like my most annoying <laughs> i find them as my like true nemesis even in that game because they're just so annoying i mean scoyotel is pretty bad too they're just so crafty as far as like trap cards and and like harmony and just boosting everything it's just it's like I'm. I know I'm gonna have a hard time when 
my opponent has to tell and like they know what they're doing because it's not a fun time. Um, it, it, it mean, I mean that being said, enough guard after I played because I, I, I played because I was, I got into like the whole contract thing of like getting keys from like doing certain mat or like certain milestones, and you had to like win like I think twenty five matches to get like the first tier. So I did that on Northern Realms, Nilfgaard, and Monsters, but not in that order, because it was like Monsters, I think it was like Monsters, Nilfgaard, I don't remember dude. I did Monsters first and I did, uh, I want to say I did Monsters, Northern Realms, Nilf Nilfgaard, but I think I did Monsters, Nilfgaard, and Northern Realms, because I think I had like a hard time on Northern Realms for like a while, because I was using the, um, so I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't really find like a leader unit that I enjoyed using, which also brings like a ton of variation and variety to the game. It's like each leader unit has their, their own thing. And I was using the uh, the eight the eight point damage leader unit because it was just like working with the way I, the, like the style I played versus like the, the like trying like to boost in between turns or like add zill. It just it wasn't working, man. So but yeah, dude, I'm. I've gotten pretty deep into that, and I, <laughs> I am very much enjoying Gwent, and I, I'm kind of like really into it, and just like, the new expansion just came out. I didn't buy it because <laughs> I'm not spending any money on that game because it's free to play, so I kind of wanted to, but I was like, dude, I'm an unemployed, so <laughs> that's not a good idea. <laughs> it, it's like, yeah, it's like I really, I really wanted to get the expansion. I really, I really wanted to like buy some other stuff in that game, but I was like, eh. I mean, the one thing I might buy, actually, no, like, that's actually kind of cool, it's like, you know, all, some of the stuff you, you can't, um, get without, I mean, I don't know if, if, if you can get all of it without buying, because I haven't played that much, but, um, there was this, there, like, you have different boards as far as, like, the levels that you play on, and so one of them was, like, the, uh, the game board from, like, the tavern, I mean, it looks the same, actually, all the time. <laughs> thinking about it in Witcher 3. So it's just like the Witcher 3 game board where it's got like but it, but it has like the tavern aesthetic so you're actually like in a tavern. It's it's hard to describe if if you it yeah, cuz like the, the stages in that game look kind of weird, but I thought that was cool, but it's it's actually I mean if I remember correctly, I believe if you can I'm not sure if there's the option to buy it, but you, like there's an in-game currency called uh meteorite or something. And you can like just use that on it, but be yeah, idiot. Super, li super, super living Gwent. Wish there was effing awesome. One of the best games ever. So, Thronebreaker, not so much. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just there for the story. So, so far, and it's a prequel too, I believe. Um, actually, it, I, I, it, I mean, it make, I mean, thinking about it now, I'm just like, of course. Well, I, I, I don't know for sure, but it's like I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a, a prequel because you're, you're fighting Nilfgaard and they're invading into the north, but like where they're at in the north is like not the same as in Witcher 3. So, yeah. Um, anywho, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> that was that's an example of an aside or anecdote. I just like talk so like something is in my notes here as I'm going down it and I'm just like, "Oh yeah, that's effing amazing." And it was it was effing amazing. <laughs> I mean, not to say Lost Wars 2 wasn't amazing, but it was, it was good. Okay, I'll give it, I give it a solid 8. Room for improvement. And I'll just move on with, with, <laughs> move on to the next thing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I've been streaming daily on Twitch, um, trying to break through. But it just, it just hasn't happened, dude. So it's like, at first I was like, you know, I'm going to be playing Witcher 3 for like, probably 12 hour chunks. I might as well stream it. And then I was like having issues with my PS4, and like, well, it wasn't. I think it's the game. It's not the. It's not the console, cause, I, cause nothing else I've played since then has been crashing. I have. Yeah, I was having like weird crash issues with Witcher 3, dude. So that was weird. I mean, like, it only happened when I when I when I was streaming with it, but I haven't played. I haven't played not streaming, so it's like most of the time I've been streaming. I, it's it's like a 95.5 percent right. Like most of the time I was playing that game, I was streaming it. Like the only time I wasn't was like after I finished it the second time. And I like ran around for a bit, but I've been, I didn't do anything substantial. Like I haven't played a ton of hours not streaming to like see if it was just a streaming I issue, which it probably was. But um, yeah. Anyway, I was like streaming that, and, like while I was playing, because I was like, "Oh, I'm probably gonna be streaming this like a lot because it's a long game." Because I'd known from like people saying, "Oh, it takes so, so long," but then I saw the map and I was like, "Dude, 
after I saw this question mark, so I was like, yeah. Ah, oh, that game's so good. But, you know, I was streaming basically, I think, I'd have to go back and look, but when I started, but, um, at least, I'm not sure if it was all of June. It might have been all of June, because I'm at like 30 something days on my, on my stream streak, so, but I've not broken through yet, so, that's just something I'm doing, um, until I take a break, because I think I'm going to take a break in August, honestly, because it's just, 2020, dude, it's exhausting, and it just, it just, <laughs> it, I, but that's the thing, it's like, part of my brain is like, I don't know if I can stop, it's just, I, if I'm playing something, and I'm, and I'm playing it not on stream, and I'm playing it offline, and it's like, nobody will know, like, nobody will see this amazing, you know, adventure, or this, like, if I had this, like, awesome fight or something, or, like, I can't, I mean, I can share it and upload it later, but if I was streaming it live, and someone was like, oh, man, or, or I clip it, ugh. Anywho, trying to break through on, on Twitch, which Twitch for, like, the last time, I think, because it's like, dude, I've been going how many days straight, and I've gotten, like, n not very many followers, and it's just like, ah, uh, it's, yeah, it, it's it's just my summer, my summer project. It's like the last time I tried to, like, break through on Twitch, because it's just not, it's just not easy at all. Because I'm already, yeah, I already got, like, a good following on YouTube. I mean, not as good as it could be, but it's like, dude, YouTube's not much easier, so whatever. Um, let me just restart because I that was really sloppy, and I'm just like kind of. You might, I think we've all lost track of where I'm at in this chain with Tegan, so let's just like take it from the top. So you know, <laughs> videos I'm working on, playthroughs and streams. So, Last of Us Part Two is done. Goes to Tsushima. Uh, soon. Also Witcher 3 with a bit of parts 2 and 1, just like the epilogue and ending and a bit of gameplay for each. Just started Thronebreaker and fell in love with Gwent in Witcher 3, so playing the standalone game now. I've been streaming daily on Twitch to Breakthrough and just uploading the stream archives over here on YouTube. This will probably be the state of the channel for a while, because it's just a good loop for me um, as far as I can stream it on Twitch take the archive, easily upload it over to YouTube, bing bang boom, you know, just, it's, an, it's a nice, easy, double, double, double dip content wise to get to like, you know, two different platforms with, with ease of, you know, yeah, like the, the ease of use of it, like the quality of life on, on me is like so, so good. So that's what I, that's also why I've been doing this uh, Twitch thing is like, well, if I'm going to be streaming stuff anyway, I'm going to be putting it up on YouTube. I might as well stream it to Twitch and then archive it on YouTube. And then it's like, Destiny 2, I'm kind of done. So, um, it doesn't clog up all my time now. <laughs> I mean, I, see, the, here's the thing about Destiny 2, dude. It's like, even when I was playing it, like, one, one day a week, it's like, that's not enough. I mean, it is, but, like, for me, it's like, I would just like to, to just, like, binge on it to get through it and just be like, Argh. so just like I don't have to do that now so I can just like play a ton of other stuff i.e. <laughs> see what your trilogy playthrough of like done and like I, I, I mean that took like a while I think I started ah uh, when did I start playing that which are one I think maybe in April maybe no 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 it was after Final Fantasy VII Remake dude so it's like Final Fantasy VII Remake was in April because that was after Resident Evil 3 and then Cyberpunk was going to be then and it got effing delayed, that's what happened. Okay, I had to like, remember like what the f happened, so. And then, oh, actually Last of Us 2 was also supposed to be then, but then it got delayed, so it's like, yeah, like everything was getting delayed. And I was like, dude, what the f, so. I was like, you know what, <laughs> it's not like I can go out, well, I mean, I can go outside, but I'm not going out there, so. <laughs> if I'm gonna be stuck inside playing games, I might as well go straight to the top of the I'd like to play it list. And Witcher has been, has been effing up there for a while, but uh, not to get back on being sidetracked, to, you know, um, there was something I mentioned and I wanted to, like, say something about, but I don't remember, what, oh, when I said bits and parts of, you know, Witcher 1 and 2, it's basically just some gameplay in the epilogues, so, if you're wondering, I think I said that already, but it's whatever, I just wanted to get, make the point of saying that, um, top five games of the year and last year, so I've been saying this forever, and I'm sick of not getting it done, so I'm gonna go, going to try and finally do that in July, and just finally just bang it out and upload it and be effing done because 
I've been saying this like since the beginning of the year. Like, I'd like to do my favorite games last year and the year before because I didn't get around to it. Oh, and just you know, I just haven't done it. So, I might actually go back to to like 2015 and make like a correction video because it's like, dude, Witcher F and three man, like that needs to be instated, <laughs> not reinstated because it, it wasn't it was not you know there before, but um needs to be you know installed or enshrined in that year's top five games of whatever I played that year and just like you know a uh <laughs> amending process yes all right um so for vlogs 2020 is exhausting so I'm just drowning my sorrow and playing games lately because yeah 2020 I think exhausting man like it just <laughs> constant <laughs> there's I've said this before I believe on the channel but like there's this there's this part in Mass Effect 3 early on like very, like at the very beginning of the game I meant not the very beginning but it's like it's towards the beginning it's like after after you get to the Citadel for the first time and then you're talking to um Ambassador Udina and he says because he, cause he's just talking about like all the constant like news they're getting in from like the Reapers just like decimating <laughs> every corner of the galaxy and it's just he's, he's just like there's constant news and all of it's bad it's just yes it's just that it is just it's just one thing after another nothing good happening and even if it is it's like it is it is such a fart in the wind compared to like the terribleness that is 2020 it's just like ugh, just just in it already it's like it's the, but that's the thing it's just it's like the pace. It's like we're only halfway through, or like a bit over halfway, and it, it feels like it's been five million years. And it's just like I am, I am a dinosaur that is like decayed in the like fossilized f gasoline fossil fuel. It's just that's how I feel. It just, it just, I'm like slowly melting and disintegrating because it's just like such a bummer time and nothing good happens. And it's just like, oh, would you like to know what happened today? It's like actually no, I wouldn't. Well. Spoiler alert, nothing good. Oh. Shocked. Except I'm not. Because that's all I've been in 2020. Is rah. So, yeah. Just, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm not going to, yeah. Yeah, man. It's just, ah. It's just, it, yeah. Yeah. 2020 effing sucks. I'm, yeah. It, I'm, okay, here, here's, here's, here's the thing. As well, about 2020, it's like, you know. There's, there's a couple things where it's like I'm looking forward to, to or like you know wanting to like not suck and kind of not exactly home run right now like PS5 good but not great it's like what I would say is like the Ratchet and Clank gameplay was good um the overall quality of that <laughs> presentation was okay it wasn't like because not everything was like at that level of like the Ratchet demo it's like they had some stuff like that but then they also had some stuff that was like similar to like the Xbox Series X reveal, where it was just like very short teaser trailer snippets. It's like, dude, you can't like. I mean, you can if you're gonna have like the ratchet stuff. It's like, it makes it more acceptable, I guess, to like you know have that if you have like the ratchet thing where it's like a really lengthy, meaty. Look. I mean, that's the thing though. It's like only compared to like what's already out there. It's like only because the Xbox Series X was so bad does like that look good because it was like a decent lengthy chunk, but then not everything was a decent lengthy chunk. A that and then B, ah, like no price, no price, no price, no date, and it's just like, just just the PR drip feed of like little by little breadcrumbs, follow the breadcrumbs. It's just like, dude, I'm I'm over, it, dude. I'm just so over. It. It's like, how many times have I been? Have it's like not my first effing radio with like a flipping next gen console and like next gen launch. So it's just it's like having the hopes that we would have something better than just the same old same old. Oh, we're gonna give you like the the long slow the long con slow PR drip feed you know play like always and then but then that's the thing it's like we wouldn't have to do this if we weren't gonna like let you down so it's like I feel like we're gonna be let down and it's not gonna be you know whatever dude it's it's it's, 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 it's whatever I'm just I'm I've, I've gone from like you know I'm betting all my hopes and dreams on this like salvaging this year to like cautiously optimistic and it's just I mean, yeah, we have games now, like Horizon uh, Western, I don't know, Far Out West Adventures, I don't remember what it's called, whatever, I don't care, I'm gonna get it, because it's effing Horizon again. 
Um, and then Russian. It's like that's and that's the other thing is like I don't play Russian Clank, so it's like as as good as it looks. I am not a fan of this series because I haven't played it. Even though I, I mean I I own a couple copies of like the games. It's just in my backlog. It's it's whole thing. It's like I never got it. It's it's like yeah, back in PS2, dude, is like your you know team Ratchet, team Sly. Team, Team Jack and Daxter, and I chose Sly Cooper, so I'm sorry. And it's like, I've been waiting, okay? I've been waiting for another Sly Cooper game. That being said, I'll... <laughs> Sucker Punch is making go to Tsushima, so it's like, I, I'm cool with that. It's like, you know, I've seen... I've Yeah, we've all seen what Ghost of Tsushima looks like, so not going to complain there, but, you know, I would like to have some more adventures with Sly and Gang. That being said, the Vita game, like, was a super, super cliffhanger, and it's like, oh... Thanks for that, because there hasn't been a new game in a while, so still waiting, just saying. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See this I'm not okay. It might sound like I'm like super outraged and angry about this, but I'm not. I'm just like being a bit dramatic here, but I'm just saying, it's like 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 Doctor Evil and like flipping Austin Powers, man, when he's just like, throw me a freaking bone here, man. It's like, come on, man, just something. Something. Ah It's like ah it's just, but that, it's, it, but, and that's the other thing, it's like, it can't just all be at once, it's like, no, we're gonna space it out, it's like, you know, have, like, a nice event every month, and, you know, have a memory for the next month, it's like, what? What? You can just give it to me all up front? No! No! Why? Why are you like this? Same thing with F being Cyberpunk, dude. It's like, I was ready to play that game, and then, like, after the last you know, trailer, I was like, I'm not gonna watch any more coverage of it. And then, like, you know, they had that Night City Wire Volume 1, whatever the F. And I watched it, and, like, I kind of regret it now, because I was just, like, they totally showed, like, like a lot of the, pro I mean, it's, who knows how much, but, like, you know, if you played Witcher, like, you know there's a prologue. So it's, like, that's totally, like, the prologue is the, uh, they go in to get the chair. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna say, in case you haven't watched it, so... <laughs> <laughs> something happens at the beginning of the game that's 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 like you know you have a good understanding of that now not not having ever played it and it's like oh had i not done that i would not have, have would not have had it spoiled for me even though they kind of did have some stuff of it already in like the stuff they show but like you couldn't really put the put together the big picture like you kind of kind of can now so but i'm i'm totally staying away from like any of the future stuff from that game that's like trailers or gameplay or whatever it's like i just want to play the game it's like they've already said it's done so it's like yeah, I, I don't need any more, like, juicy bits of, like, oh, here's what brain dancing is, even though they already kind of talked about it, so it's like they just showed it then, so it's like, okay, that's a thing, cool, whatever, I, ah, it goes back to waiting, that's really all you can do, just go back to waiting, man, so that's where I'm at, but, um, <laughs> 2020, so exhausting, hopefully not like this, 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 uh, this video, which is almost at the 40 minute mark, so yeah. 2020 is exhausting, so I'm just drowning my sorrow and playing games lately, because what else can you do, really? I mean, I might have eaten a couple boxes of Baby Ruth's and, like, a bag of Reese's, Reese's cups. I mean, they were mini-sized. They looked like they were the normal size ones. They weren't. I feel cheated. Whatever. It was... It was a mistake. I do not regret all two pounds of it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. I could go into more details, but let's not get too uh, fraunchy on the podcast of, like... You know, it feels, feels great going down, but uh, when it comes down to you, hmm. I mean, that being said, it's like, it's not that bad. So it's like, you know, compared to the... <laughs> on the <laughs> if there was a graph or a chart, of, you know, on the pleasure and pain threshold, it wouldn't be that, you know, it's not, it's, it's not on the, you know, would not do it again. I would totally do it again. It's just not healthy, so I'm not going to do it again for health reasons. Ah, oh, it was delicious, though. It was. I mean, I guess that's not really the right ad adjective it was very sweet and succulent mm, like like a candy but uh not good for you so don't do that again chris all right so you know um moving on from the vlog section where all i have to say is 2020 is exhausting so i'm just drowning my sorrow in playing games lately so basically don't look forward to any vlogs because i just i'm just yeah i'm out of it man i'm just checked out <laughs> It's like, I just would have, I have like one thing, I guess not, that's not true, but it's like the one main driving force in my life right now to like get me to wake up and like keep going in the morning is video games. And it's like everything else kind of sucks. So, uh, 
I mean, there's other things. It's like, you know, I could watch some Netflix, but it's like, I'd rather just play something. It's like, that's the other thing. It's like, I'm just at this point where it's like, if I died tomorrow, <laughs> would I like to have died not having been doing my favorite thing? No. So it's like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's just write out, write out the terrible 2020 of like doing our favorite thing, which is playing video games. So it's like, I, I want to make the House of X video or the video about, you know, Hickman, Hickman's X-Men, but it's just, I haven't read it because I've been playing Witcher and it, like, Witcher was effing awesome. It's like, after that experience, it's just like, it's just a reassurance in like re reaffirmation of like, why do I do this? Because video games are effing awesome and like, have you effing played The Witcher 3? It's effing god tier. Jeez. Cannot, cannot gush more about that game, dude. It's just so good. It's so effing good. Ah, oh, it brought me back, man. It just brought me back. I just, I played it. I was like, people said this game's good, but it was like effing, like, you know, it's like, you know, after, an, after you're like bitter and jaded enough and you've like, you've heard, you feel like you've, okay, I don't feel like I've heard and seen it all, but like you've heard and seen enough to be like, you know, you can get your bearings about things. And it's like, Okay, Witcher 3, whatever. Because I played the first two. One is really good. It's really cool and interesting. But, like, not what I would think it would be. Or I didn't know what to expect, honestly. And it's just, like, it it hasn't aged well. It looks dated. Two, I feel, I played it, and I was like, this is Witcher 2? Because I feel like people, like, just gushed about Witcher 2. Of like, oh, it's so amazing. And just, like, I mean, maybe I'd play it again and, like, make separate choices to see, like, the branching of it. But it's just, like, eh. Didn't really feel, you know... I mean, it wasn't bad, it was just, like, not as, like, amazing as, like, you know, people had been saying about Witcher 3, so I, I guess, I guess, I guess people had been saying, like, gushing so much about Witcher 3 that I thought Witcher 2 is going to be, like, you know, what Witcher 3 was. And then, um, Witcher 3, however, <laughs> woo, that was, man, that was, like, Messiah moment of just, like, have you effing played this game? And like, I know people say this game is amazing, but it's incredible! And, ah, what? Ah, Man, just like the second epilogue I got, after I finished it the second time, mind-blowing. Just effing mind-blowing. Just like, I, I did the things, I mean, A, that, and then like, B, it's weird, because like, I had, like, I had such a weird experience, because I played the first time through, I did all the things, I got to the end, and it felt like a kick in the junk. It's just like, what? A slap in the face of like all the work I did, and you're gonna give me that ending? And I was like, oh, oh no, 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 we are playing this again. And like, I did different choices, and I was like, okay, thinking to myself, well, what if I did this? What if I did that? What did this do? What would this that do? And like, you know, trying to make, you know, good things, do good, out good outcomes. And I think I'm gonna play through a third time, and then after that, I'm gonna look up the whole, like, you know, where are the anger points and the choices, because it's just like, you know, at, after a certain point, you're just like a bit too obsessed. I've had this happen to myself, like, playing Mass Effect 2. And just like getting too into the whole like, well, if I do this, and if I don't do this, how does this do this? Or how does or like I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not just like Mass Effect two, but like Mass Effect one and two and three, just not two, not three so much because like the ending kind of killed it. It was just like you know, you do. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> ah, I mean, not so much the ending. It's just like the final battle, dude. It could have been so epic. It could have been so effing amazing if they would have just took what they did with Suicide Mission and did that for the end. But they didn't, and so it's like. A that and then B the original ending without any of like the whole like uh you know images and clips and like oh did you <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna gonna spoil it to territory but like you know you didn't you did you had like absolutely no idea like how things you know for your companions that you've been like through the shit with had like like how did how did things happen with the, with the Krogans like how did that happen like or like or not how that happened but like how did that you know pan out like wh what happened there like what was the conclusion or like the Corians, it's like okay well if you know if there's no technology how do their their suits you know is, is there gonna be an issue with the flotilla like you know like their suits in the flotilla and like you know they kind of need that if like if you if you ch if you, ch if, you, ch if, you ch if you chose a certain choice in that you kind of f them um you know what's up what's up with the ragnai hmm? <laughs> that's a whole thing you know it's just like there's so many there's so many like lingering um unfinished business loose ends in that game originally that was just like it was unacceptable it was just i mean it wasn't but it was i'm sorry i'm sorry okay okay okay, okay. here's the thing about that it's like i wasn't super upset about Mass Effect 3's ending it was just like but i could see like after think like it doesn't take me like thinking about it that long to see like okay i could see like where the you know the ire would could would come from but like 
but like knowing that like Bioware did like not you know wrap that up and like kind of like unprepared for like the reaction that they got that that's surprising to me it's like you have all these threads and just like loose ends and you don't tie it up and you're just like expecting us to be cool with that after it's just like enamoring us with that story for like so long across three games what no get the f out of here but um I mean, I mean, I think that's, but that's the thing. It's like Master Theory. I did, I did overall enjoy it, even though like the ending kind of like left me like kind of eh. I could, and I could see like where the anger is with that, but it's like ultimately, I, after they fixed it with, I guess or not fixed it, but like you know they <laughs> amended it with the uh, extended cut. That didn't make it. That made it a lot better. That definitely made it a lot better. But like from a gameplay, a gameplay you know perspective, that final battle dude is just. It's not what it could be. It's it's just like it bums me out thinking about it because it's just like it could have been so effing good. It just like and like in my brain what I expected and like what I got was just like not the same. So I was just, I was just like kind of bummed out, you know. It's like you do all this stuff over the course of the game. You like you build up all those those war assets, and then like you don't really even get to see them or just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have the fleet ship of like from Mass Effect One if you've saved it and like you don't even get to see it like fire its main gun like what whatever dude it's see it, see this, this, this that's like the problem with Mass Effect Three is like I'm over it but it's like I still have these wounds it's like it it's like I love that game and I love that franchise but it's like you know it kind of it kind of effed us I'm just saying it just it just kind of effed us it's I I will still say it's a good game and I love it but it's just like you know there's it has like the ending has issues and like you know <laughs> I don't know how I got I'm talking about Witcher that's what I want because like what I even why am I even talking about Mass Victory I didn't even plan them God effing Bauer dude pour one out um <laughs> talking about anecdotes in the sides but yeah um that's the vlog section 20, 2020 is exhausting so I'm just drowning my sorrow in games or I'm playing games lately. Uh, how to DIY and other stuff. Nothing to report, as previously stated, mostly gaming related. So yeah, moving right along. Changes to stuff on the channel. Uh, thinking about taking a break. I'll have more to say by August. If anything, I might just take a break from doing Chinese with Tekken, but keep putting out gaming videos. Hopefully, I can update all this monthly stuff I'm behind on today since it's the last day of June. So I looked at I looked at the channel because I was like, okay, I don't think I put up the thing about like the monthly games like this month. But then I'm actually two months behind on that, so I will put that up tomorrow and just be like, boom, I did it for July, so yay. And then like have three months worth of updates in one update on the community section. It's whatever. It's my channel, I do what I want. Um, as far as taking a break, I, yeah, man, like I said, 2020 is exhausting, dude. Like there's just been so much, just like, I'll get to in the IRL section, but just, there's just so much going on. It's just like I said, constant news. All it's all the bad, man. Just there's, it's, <laughs> it's like. So we're looking forward to this movie. Can't go see it. Theaters are closed. We're looking forward to this game. Probably delayed because, you know, that development took a took a took a hit. Um, next gen consoles. Don't have a faster date. Hopefully it's this year. Hopefully it's not limited quantities because you're you're you're, kind of, you're probably gonna have a trouble trouble getting one. But then even if you didn't, would you like to be in line waiting for one in the current situation? Or just like, how's that gonna work? Yeah. Stay tuned and find out more in 2020. Worst year ever. Dun dun dun. Um. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, what is there, dude? What is there? It's like, I mean, there's like, you know, there's Netflix, so it's like, I've had all the time in the world to like go through and watch things I had not seen before. I don't know if I'd seen it. Oh, wait, had I? I, I know I talked about this on Channel with Taken. I don't know if I talked about this on. I'm sorry. I know I talked about this on Comic Book Talk podcast. I don't know if I talked about it with Chai Wataigan. That being said, I've been thinking about like having different things, or not different things like separately, but like I kind of want to have like a separate video as far as like for my like fandoms and just like things I am a fan of or I enjoy or I like, and just like gushing over them because I feel like if I talk about it in Chai Wataigan, like we're almost at an hour here, it, this happens. It's like I go a bit too long and I try to have it be like not too long. It's like one hour max dude one hour max it's like you don't you don't want to lose people's attention and if i just take all the things and i'm just like oh dude this is awesome and i just like gush about it in some other video it's like it's it saves the quality of this one by like not making it too bloated but um but man dude i i think this is like back in march 
for sure because that's when it had the um the new season but like altered carbon i watched season one man that was just life-changing that was okay it wasn't life-changing but like that was as good i wa that was as good watching that as it was playing mass effect 3 like that was so good for of like a cyberpunk transhumanist story of just so good it was so fucking good and it's just like ah that was amazing and just like finally having the, the time <laughs> the time <laughs> Having the time isn't isn't having time nice. I mean, what did it cost? Eh, Thanos reference. Um, <laughs> to like go and watch like a bunch of stuff on Netflix of like, oh man, I've been wanting to watch this. And then I got two I got two months free of um Funimation now through Plus, and then I finally watched um a bit of Attack on Titan. Got to the end of the trust arc when they did the trial, the first part of the trial. So I was like, I'll watch the first episode after after trust just to see like what's happening. Eh, not not feeling it, man. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it was like people gush about that. Okay, that series, and I was like, eh. I mean, yeah, there's still like the whole thing about like you know what's what's in what's in the house with the key. But I'm just I'm I'm like at that point, I'm just like, dude, it's it's that's I don't want to be on the hook for a story that's like gonna take a while. <laughs> it's just like 25 episodes. I'm 15 in, and I'm not feeling it. It's just. I mean, there's some neat things, but it was just overall, just it didn't, it didn't grab me. So, yeah. In conclusion, I enjoyed. Well, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't say in conclusion, but like you know, I, I, I guess like I guess like what I thought it was gonna be versus what I thought it, what it, or what it actually was. I thought it, I thought it was gonna like be more, especially like towards, towards the beginning when like stuff was just constantly bad. It was just like ooh, ooh, ooh. It was just I thought it was gonna be like more in the vein of like Gantz, where it's like you know just. Cause like, like it had that it had that theme of just like fodder and like constant death and defeated like the de de or de or just like your 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 sense of defeat and like being stuck inside the walls and just like not being able to like um like expand or like have an expanse of humanity beyond the walls. I thought that was a, I thought that was a neat concept and themes. Like there, there's like stuff there that's cool, but it's just overall as a show, it's just like there's a lot of this, like like there's a lot of times when people like will say things. Like very dramatically, and like the camera will just like zoom in on them, and it's just like this is unnecessary. Like, like why are they, like the lady that likes the potatoes or like that eats a lot, you know? And she's like, I don't remember what she said, but she said something like really dramatically. And it was just like, okay, that was unnecessary. Um, take it down a notch, please. That that happens multiple times, and it was just like that was like one of the things I was just like, eh. But yeah, it's it was not all the end all be all. I thought it would after hearing so many people gush about it. Um, I mean, that being said, I hadn't he actually heard about what it was. I just heard people like it, and just, it was popular. And they just be like, oh, I like Attack, Attack on Titan, so... I mean, that being said, you're just on Netflix now, too, so... I have not seen that, and, uh... I, ki I, I, I quite liked what I did see, so I can finally watch... I mean, that's the thing now, it's like a time thing. It's like, I want to like do all this stuff on Twitch, but it's like, when am I going to have time to watch Netflix? Ooh! Or watch Funimation. No. Oh. I'll make time. I'll figure it out. <sighs> but, um, <laughs> moving right along to, uh, changes to stuff. Oh, I talked about the changes to stuff on channel. Oh, that's okay. Jeez. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I said taking a break and then update all the monthly stuff. So, yeah, monthly stuff, like I said, updated tomorrow because, you know, whatever month's behind, it's done. I don't care. Um,. First, well, yeah, like I said, I guess I did talk about taking a break because I was like, 2020, isn't it terrible? So, like, you know, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's it's like, you know, it, it's it's like, you know, when people say the whole thing of like, you know, your body of like, you know, when you're tired and stuff, it's just like, it's, I, I, this is affecting me and I can feel it, you know? So it's just like, I don't want to just like keep going on this death march of like <laughs> getting content out to my channel. It's just like having an adverse effect on me. Like some days I do just want to like take a break and like not do anything. And just like, you know, just turn my okay. I I was I almost said turn my brain off and just like watch stuff on Netflix. But like when I, I don't like saying that expression of like turning my brain off because my because then I think I'm gonna kill myself because it's like if my brain's off, then I'm dead. Like if my yeah, it's like I I just don't like that expression of like turning your brain off because it's like actually if your brain's off you're dead. So it's like ah. But um, I would just I just there we go. Like like just I just you know I would like to just like space out or veg out and just like you know drift away and just streamland and like just binge a bunch of stuff on Netflix and be like oh that was that was entertaining for a day and just you know but that uh, 
I almost got into like a whole thing there as far as uh, you know, passive media versus why video games are awesome and better. But I didn't, and I'm not going to. But you know, one thing you can just sit there and you know, passively and enjoy it and consume it. The other thing you have to be actively participate, active participant. So active participant is better. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so we're at the final section of Chaiwo Tegan, so I'm going to try to get this wrapped up here, but I will probably fail, because every time I say that, that usually fails, but I'm like, oh, well, I'm almost at this much time, let me keep going, or let me finish it up here. But yeah, IRL stuff. <clears throat> Still sheltering in place, which isn't much different from my normal daily routine, so thankfully my life hasn't been dis disrupted dramatically by this global pandemic. 2020 is exhausting and there are a lot of issues I would like to address on my channel, but I'm just not up to it. So for that, I apologize and hopefully get around to eventually making content that addresses current issues on my channel. This is one of the reasons I've stepped away from my Facebook page. I would like to make posts and contributions that aren't just empty platitudes or just negative social media posts and be something more substantial. But like I said, 2020 is exhausting and I don't have to suffer through finding the energy for for that when there are plenty of other people on the internet doing it and doing a better job than I would if I started now. Hopefully though one day I can figure out how to add that kind of content to my channel. So something to look forward to and one for so something to look forward to and for me to work on. So yeah, a lot of things going on in the world right now and it's just like it, it's kind of the same only thing to like the fandom videos it's like I want to do it's like you know things that I'm like a fan of or that make me happy or that I like but that's the thing it's like it's like when it's when it's based in emotion it's not really a good idea because like emotion affects humans you know it has react like it has an effect on them you know we're not Vulcans we can't just like or like witchers like we can't just like turn off our emotions or just um <laughs> Not my phone, my phone, I hope that didn't pick up in the background. But, like, you know, just... Like, you know, it's... It, if When you're acting out of emotion, you know, it's not always the best route because you're not... You're not clear-minded thinking of it in a rut. I mean, you could be, but it's, like, it's 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 better to not have a knee-jerk reaction. So I, did, so I didn't want to have, like, a knee-jerk reaction and just, like, have a bunch of stuff, like, posted on my channel or on my Facebook about things so it's like I was just like so it's just like the way I am it's like okay, I will you know I'm I'm very much a uh, thinker so I was like okay let's 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 let's, let's like take it take a break here let's take 10 or whatever it's called the number I don't remember but um which is why I'm like thinking about taking a break is like you know just step step back look look at it from a you know a full picture perspective and not just like okay well what's in front of me right now knee-jerk reaction and then come back with a better response. I mean, that being said, I haven't put up any any content about that. So it's like, or I haven't put up any content about like you know all the, all, all the social social upheaval that we're currently in during the Lord 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 Bezos and the Gilded Age that we find ourselves in, and the, <laughs> and there's coronavirus, and there's police brutality. And it's just like ah, oh, it just it never ends, man. It just feels like it never ends. And then that's the other bummer part, dude, is like, you know, on the one hand, it's like, oh man, isn't it great that like, you know, there's, there's all this focus and like all this, you know, uh, spotlight on this issue. But then it's also like, well, me, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if it didn't take everybody getting like, you know, put in, put in a shelter in place to where it's like nothing was really happening and they could have like, had no choice but to see this for them to have this reaction. Wouldn't it be great if like, <laughs> you know, you didn't have to if you didn't have to proclaim that black lives matter if, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be great if that was not the case like, like that did not need to be said because my life mattered like like not because of all the bad things that were like brought to light because of things that, that had happened over a span of like over a century like wouldn't that be great no i mean yeah, i mean yeah that would be great but like no that's not the case so it's just like ah so it's just like you know ah uh, just yeah it's just like so there's like for, like there's like a while where I was like I I, I think I should like take a break from the channel for like a long time and just like I didn't, it's like cause I, cause like I wanted to like just make a video about that but I just I just couldn't I just like I'm it's just 2020 is like so exhausting I'm just like so over it I'm just like Arr. and but then that's like, that's the other thing is like it's like it's like that's just like one thing and it's like 
but then but then if it, but then like after you, like you look at it from like or like look at it long enough or from like a perspective like zoomed out where you see the, like the full picture and it's like you can see that it is like all related and so it just <laughs> I, I don't know if i said i haven't i haven't talked about this but i can try to take it but just like you know i'm i'm like very upset about the fact that like joe biden is like the you know present or like is like the like nominee for like the democratic party but because like he it's like he ain't it i'm sorry but it's like will i will i be voting for him yes but it's like i'm just very like upset and like not happy with like that being the outcome because he, i don't think he's the person to meet this moment it's just he doesn't like if you go to like his website and like look at his you know policy and platform stances it's like <laughs> whatever dude it's like a that and then like b just like look at just look at like the eight years of we had of like you know the obama administration and like what what did we get it's <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't the you know the social i mean okay yeah we got gay marriage but it's like i mean that I, I, I don't know dude it's just like i feel like are we headed in the right direction to a certain extent yes once we get past this current you know phase that we're in but it's we, but, but a, yeah like we also have to like do that and like survive until november and like <laughs> To up to like to election day so it's just there's just so much it's just like it's just exhausting and it's just it's just so tiring and it's just ah it's just it, it, it's like in my brain i'm like it never ends but it's like i know that it will end but it's just like like i said earlier in the video i'm just like you know it, it feels like five million years so it's like getting it like from here like the beginning of the year to here was just like that so it's just like from here to november when we can finally enact change and like vote and like get through this current administration which is just like a nightmare <laughs> and just like ah that's yeah dude it's just ah it just feels like it, it's like yeah that the time in between then is like gonna be it feels so long but, but then like also the time in between now and then it's like what will be done to like to to uh For, like all these like bad things going on like like what's going to be done to address any of the stuff like that's like currently happening and that's like you know all the all of the the bad things happening like it's like i don't think very much because i have absolutely no faith in the you know in in, in the people in power right now and like in the and like in like in like what they want to do so it's like just it's just Put your seatbelt up, seatbelt on, and then like hope you make it out in in the in the, in the wreck that we're about to have, and you can walk and you get to walk away from it because it's like, because how long has it been since you know Effie and you know we've had we've had this social upheaval? It's like how much legislation has been passed? Hmm. There you go. It's like it's like okay that and then like you know if you've been if you if you've been like looking, I, I was like I, well, I don't know like what you know news everybody else watches, but like. There's like a there's like a you know there's like a corporate media and like in, independent media like corporate media has already like moved on to like flipping the whole Russian bounties for um you know killing American soldiers so it's like the the march of the military industrial industrial complex is on the move like already to like to like <laughs> to, to basically take all the spotlight away from well not all the spotlight but like you know it's like you know a nice a nice moment in the sun, but uh, on the next thing, on the next one, so <laughs> move it or lose it. And yeah, so I guess I guess we'll see if anything actually happens. I'm I'm of the uh, I'm of the cynical nature mind of like it not happening. So or if it, or or if anything does happen in the next six months or wait, what what day is it? June. Ooh, it's July. Okay, so July third, like four months away from that is election day. So it's like you know anything, anything in the next four months happening to like address any of the, the like the major social social issues that we're having or having um you know more more COVID nineteen relief. <laughs> yeah, right. I just I'm just very cynical at this point of like any of it. So it's just it yeah for me it's just like like I said earlier about like the whole buckle up for the. For the super slow motion train wreck or car wreck or whatever wreck analogy that you want to have that we're in until election day it's like just buckle up and hope you survive and walk away from it dude because 
nobody is coming to save you. <laughs> it's, it's like, I'm, I don't want to be super dire and cynical and negative about it. But that's, that's just me. I'm sorry. It's like, that's just, that's just who I am. It's like, I don't, it's, it's, it, ain't, it ain't happening. Because it's like, we're kind of past that. Uh, that ship is sailed. And because, <laughs> yeah. And this is where we're at. So, whatever, dude. At least I've got my video games. So, yeah, that's, that's it for China with Tegan. Um, do I have an outro? I do, but I'm on audio because I completely forgot about that. So, you know, feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends, or not. That's cool, too. Also, you know, I've got all the links to my socials in the bottom of the video. And, uh, you know, I'm streaming on Twitch on a pretty regular basis now, I'm trying to do it daily. Actually, I've been doing it daily for like the last 30, 30 some odd days, so you could uh, follow me over there or subscribe that'd be that'd be even better but uh you know if not that's cool too so yeah hey <laughs> that was june 2020 uh thanks for watching or actually i guess in this case thanks for listening because it's audio only i mean it's a video so technically you're watching it but it's audio only so you're also listening mostly but whatever so so yeah thanks for watching and listening and i'm now Setting off.